video we're going to take a look at it. You'll problem called basic calculator number two. So if you haven't checked out my other video called basic calculator number, number one, I highly recommend to check out that video before this one. But basically this question, uh, we're basically trying to evaluate a given string expression. And this string, uh, in this case, contains digits, right? And it also contains plus sign, minus sign, uh, modification sign, division sign. So basically we want to get the total value, right? So you can see here we have a string, right? And then what we have to do is we have to evaluate this, uh, this expression and return its value in an integer value, right? So in a type integer. So in this case, what we have to do first, we have to complete the multiplication, right? So we have two times two, which is four. And then what we can do is we can deal with the addition, right? So which is three plus four in this case is gonna be seven. So in this case, the output is seven. And then let's say we have something like this where we have a division there. In this case, like I said, again, we're going to return an integer value. Um, so in this case, it's just going to be one, right? And there could also be spaces, right? So un unlike the previous question where we were, or in this case, the basic calculator number one, where we had uh, brackets, right? So we have to get what's, we have to complete what's inside the brackets first. But this question we don't, but the, but the same thing applies because in this case, we want to complete what's uh, uh, the modi modification first before we do the additions and subtraction, right? Sorry, Mo modification uh, and division, right? We want to complete those two before addition and subtraction. Uh, subtraction. So in this case, you can see here, um, let's say we have something like this. Again, we have to get five divided by two first, which is going to be two, two plus three, which is going to be five, right? So we cannot do the other way around. So in this case, what we have to do is that uh, we have to, given this expression, we have to do something similar, right? So you can see here, we, we still have the same similar constraints, right? A string will always not be empty. Um, each expression is valid. And uh, we're, all the integers in the, uh, in the expression are non-negative integers. So in the range from zero to this number, right? So we're gonna contain those signs or those operations or those operators in our in our string. So in this case, how can we be able to solve this problem? Well, to solve this problem, what we have to do is we have to do is very similar to what we did in basic calculator number one, right? For basic calculator calculator number one, what we have to do is we have to complete what's inside our brackets, right? Once we complete what's inside our brackets, we can be able to complete the outer brackets or other brackets, right? So in this case, we have to do the same thing. If there is a multiplication, then what we have to do is we have to complete that first, treat it as like a bracket, we have to complete this first, and then we can complete other numbers, right? So if we were to do this, same thing, we're gonna have a pointers, and then what we're gonna do is that we're going to continue to uh, um, iterate, right? And this time we're not gonna use a, like a, um, in this case, we're not gonna use a variable like a, like a sum or like a total or something to keep track of our, our current sum because what we have to do is we have to get rid of those modifications and, and divisions because we have to make sure that we have to make sure that everything that we have here is just basically just regular plus and minus, right? So let's say we have like, um, like a negative one here, right? Um, or minus one here, right? So what we have to do is we can be able to use like a stack, right? In this case, what we have to do is we have add three onto the stack, right? And then because three is a positive value, so we add it onto it. And then we, our pointers move one to the right. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is that we know that this is a plus sign. So in this case, the operator is a plus, so that's fine. And then the next element is two, right? So in this case, what we can do is we can just add it onto two, right? And then, um, and then what we can do is we can just, uh, we have our next element, which is a, a, a modification symbol. So in this case, uh, what we can do is we can change our op current operator to a, a multiplication. And then we move on to the next element because the previous operator, right? In this case, we're gonna have our previous operator, which is equal to multiplication. If it's a modification, what we can do is we can basically just change because this is our stack right we can be basically get the previous element that we inserted onto our stack and then we can just change that we can just overwrite that right we can just pop that element out and then the current element is two two times the previous element right two times the previous num which is two so in this case is four right so we append four onto the stack and then let's say we have like minus one 
Um, so the next symbol is a, is a minus symbol. So we have operator minus symbol. And then once we get to the next element, what we're gonna do is we're basically just going to have a negative one, right? So operator in this case is a negative symbol. So we're gonna have one times the negative one symbol, right? So in this case, we're gonna have a negative one appended onto the stack, okay? And let's say we have, uh, let's say we just have like uh, divided by three, for example, right? So what we have to do then is the next symbol is the division symbol, okay? And then the next element in this case is a three. So in this case, once we visit a three, what we can do is we can just take the top element out of the stack, right? In this case, it's negative one. And then what we're gonna do is we're just going to uh, append the new value, right? Which is gonna be the previous value divided by the current value, right? So the previous value was negative one divided by the current value, which is gonna be uh, negative one out of uh, divided by three, right? We can just append that onto the stack, right? In this case, it will be actual value, like maybe like a, uh, like a zero or something, right? Um, so basically you get an idea, right? So and at the end, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the sum out of all those L values that we have in our stack. So three plus four plus zero, which is basically our, our sum, right? So in the, in the code is a lot simpler, right? You can see here, what we're gonna, what we're gonna do here is that we're going to um, first have our array, which is S dot character array, and then we're gonna have our stack um, we're going to have our initial operator, which is a plus sign. So first, we're, the goal is we want to get rid of the, 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 the modification and the division as well as the, the minus symbol as well, right? So that once we have our, or in this case, we're not, not the minus symbol, but like the modification and division, once we get rid of that, we can basic, basically like iterate through the stack, try to get the total sum, right? The total values. Uh, that we have in our stack, right? Like the goal is basically we're trying to get rid of the modification and, and the division, right? We're trying to group those values together, right? If we have a two times two, we want to get rid of that. We want to turn it into a four, right? And then we add it onto our stack, right? Right? And if it's a division, right, we can just like group them together. In this case, a zero, we add it onto our stack, right? So it's the exact same thing. So first what we do is if it's empty, if it's a space, we can just continue. Um, if the current digit is actually a digit, right? First, just like a, just like we did in the basic calculator number one, we build a number uh, using a string builder. And then what we're gonna do then is we're gonna parse that. So that's our current num, okay? So once we build our num, right? And then if the operator is a, if our current operator, right? If our current operator is a negative value, right? If it's a minus symbol, we could just gonna get current num is equal to a negative value, right? We're gonna just get the current number times negative one. If it's a modification symbol, we just pop the top element out of the stack and then times the current num. So current num is basically is equal to current num times top element out of the stack, right? And then same thing for the division as well. And at the end, once we update the current num, right? Based on the current operator, we can just add the, stack, add the current num onto the stack. So, and then in this case, you can see here, if it's not a digit, it would just basically get operator is equal to this, right? So basically you can see this is how we like, this is basically the general idea, right? We basically just iterate the entire string and then we trying to group those modifications uh, or divisions together. And then we're just going to iterate the entire stack to get our total, okay? And then you can see that this is basically how we solve the problem. And the time complexity and space complexity is all big over n, where n is the number of characters that we have in our string. So basically, there you have it. Thank you for watching.